everyone, this is Estarlina and welcome to my channel. Long time no see, I know, let's say that things were a little bit complicated and that I've been sick and many other fun stuff that I'm not going to bore you with. This year, actually, I wasn't planning to make a Halloween video, but then I was like, girl, it's Halloween. You just cannot skip Halloween and pretend it's nothing. But taking into account that today is 28th of October, which means that Halloween is in two days, I'm in a pretty last minute situation. So I decided what better thing to do in a last minute situation than a super easy, quick and fast last minute Halloween treat. And I mean last minute because it's going to take you one minute. And since this year probably there are not going to be too many Halloween parties, you can still enjoy it in your own, even if you can just have to stay home and not leave to buy stuff. So without more further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, what you are going to need is some butter, cocoa powder, milk, sugar, flour, and a little bit of baking powder. Oh, and the cupcake liners. The first step is going to be melting the butter. We are going to do that in short intervals on the microwave, and then we are going to add there the cocoa powder. Then we are going to whisk, whisk, whisk the hell out of it until it's kind of smooth, and then we are going to add the milk. Make sure it's a room temperature, not cold, because otherwise, the mixture is going to get grumpy and lumps are going to form and that's not nice. Then we are going to add the sugar and finally we are going to add the flour. But before, we are going to add half of a teaspoon of baking powder into the flour, mix it a little bit and then a little bit at a time, we are going to add the flour into the mixture and then whisk. Whisk like a lot. You have to whisk a lot with this one. So yeah, just make sure there are no little pieces of flour because that's just, yikes, no, it's not, not good. And then time to fill the cupcakes. You can use a silicone mold or just double or triple your cupcake liners to make sure they don't spread too much. We are going to fill them until halfway more or less to allow them to grow a little bit. And then we are going to pop them on the microwave for around 45, 50 seconds. I let mine there 50 seconds because I wasn't sure and they cooked nicely. So yeah, it was a win and boom done. Yep. It's that easy. You can bake them one at a time. That's how I made it and it worked. And now we only have to wait for them to cool down before we can move to the decoration part. With these amounts, you should be able to make four of these cupcakes. And since they don't have egg on it, they are completely safe to go on the microwave. Obviously, the texture is not exactly the same as if you make them on the oven, but still, for those late night cravings, they are just perfect. And now it's time to decorate, which is basically the best part of it, because otherwise it's just a cupcake, but we want to make them spooky. So the first one I'm going to show you is this super cute bag, because it was so easy that I just, I just had to. The idea is simple. One of the Oreos, remind as it is, and the other one, we are just going to split it and break one of the cookies apart. Now, with the cream of that cookie, we are going to create two little balls that will serve us as the eyes of the little bat that we're creating. And then, with the cookie we split, we are going to use those two parts as the wing. We are just going to stick them, one on each side, facing downwards, and then just put the two little balls with a little piece from the other cookie and boom, done. Isn't it so cute and so easy? Oh my God, I love it. Where are you? No, 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 stop, stop. You're going to ruin it. Okay, you ruined it. Hi, anyway, it's so easy. Just give it a try. You're going to love it. And obviously it couldn't be a Halloween special from Astarlina without something Jack Skellington related. You know, that's a tradition here in my channel and I just love them. The first time I created them, was for my five non-seen-before Halloween treats, which is still my favorite video. You can go watch it. I would really appreciate that. And many other things Jack to related that I've done so far. So, to make them, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to melt some chocolate, which is that little jar over there. And then you just have a little patience, because I must confess, this is going to take more than one minute. This one is uh, kind of speed up, because yeah, I'm pretty slow, but totally worth it. It just, I love them. I did this one by memory because I'm used to make them for myself pretty often. But yeah, it just, it's, it's easier than what it seemed and it's totally worth it. 
And ta-da! There are so many different facial expressions you can make. If you want some ideas, you can check my other video. And now it's time to assemble our spooky cake cups. Cake cups? Cupcakes. Oh, come on. So yeah, to finish, you can use some frosting or some Nutella. And if you want, you can try and stick a toothpick and just... Oh, okay, maybe not, but you get the idea. If you don't want Nutella, that, I mean, come on, it's Nutella. You can also use whipped cream, because whipped cream, duh! Since this format seemed a little bit risky to me, I decided to take some of the whipped cream off and put the cookie flat on top, which I think it looks gorgeous. And now you are completely done. Like, can you believe it was that easy? I mean, wow, why? It's it just give it a try. It's totally worth it. Obviously, if you want, you can make the cupcakes in the oven or just buy some cupcakes or muffin or whatever pastry you fancy more and use this decoration idea to make them a little bit more spoopy. So yeah, this is it. As I told you, very quick, very fun, very inexpensive and so delicious. If you want, we can be cyber friends. If you want to join me on my social media, maybe we can have a little Halloween party. Uh, if someone wants to join me there. So yeah, I just hope you like the video, subscribe, like, and all this fun stuff everybody says. And I just want to wish you the best Halloween as you can. And maybe this year there are no many Halloween parties or trick or treating is um, gone. But eventually things are going to get better. So yeah, I hope you have a happy and spoopy Halloween and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!